Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do your weekend messages here. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, please smash that like button and subscribe if you would like to get a personal reading. There's a link in the description box below this video. There's also um, other videos of readings that you can purchase for a very inexpensive fee that I have on my other uh, website. I will put that link below as well, extended readings and other readings, timeless readings, all of that good stuff. Okay, so do be sure to check that out. Anyway, let's see what your weekend messages are for July 19th through the 21st. Now let me just move my microphone here so I can get out of the way. Okay, starting with Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Wow, okay. Oops, can't pick it up. <laughs> Starting with mask. Someone's not showing their true feelings, hiding, per per pretending to be somebody that they are not, gaslighting, delude, deluding. Okay. So there's definitely a mask. Someone's putting on a happy face, but they're truly unhappy deep down inside. Uh, somebody's pretending to be... Maybe they have it all together, but they seriously do not. They're very unhappy in their life. Oh shit, the Grim Reaper, relationship over, no second chances, growing and transforming. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Girl talk or guy talk, whichever time with friends, moving on, being happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Okay. Wow. So pretty much the overall messages here. There is a relationship that has ended. Not giving any more second chances. Somebody's growing, changing their life, and it's due to someone wearing a mask and or pretending or hiding, not showing their true feelings, being inauthentic, not showing you they truly are. And a lot of conversations going to happen over the weekend in regard to some kind of mask that somebody is wearing. Okay. Uh, now let's get some clarity here. What's going on? What's behind the veil? What's behind the mask? What's going on with someone? What's behind somebody's mask here? What is somebody not showing? Why are they not showing their true feelings? The sun. The six of cups. Okay. Um... So, <laughs> okay, Virgo. I mean, we're going to get more into this, but look at this. Child, children, there's an immaturity. There's an immaturity, okay? And somebody hides. They isolate. There's a deep immaturity with someone. Somebody, I feel this energy is like, could be another Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn, <clears throat> um, but I, uh, Leo, I kind of feel like there is someone that you have a connection with here who is pretending to be the opposite of immature, which would be very mature, is someone who is acting as if they got it all together, they, they're very positive, very loving, very giving, uh, very sincere. But I feel like it's that's all a mask. This person is, ex I'm, I'm just picking up like extremely immature kind of energy. And man, a lot of anxiety and stress connected to this person as far as, you know, mask wearing goes. I feel like somebody here has very high anxiety, extreme extreme anxiety and they pretend that they don't so there's an insecurity in regards to uh, this person's energy here it might be very depressed 
negative thinker, but they act like they're a very positive thinker, right? Um, but they're very negative and they're like very negative think. It's just, man, it's like a total, it's totally pretending. Somebody is just pretending, but why? Like, I mean, I feel like, is there pride involved? I feel like somebody here, man, they just don't got God. <laughs> I just heard that. This person just does not, I don't know if they just don't trust, they don't believe. I feel like they know though. They know that they wear this mask. There's this fear of being found out. Perhaps of being judged or being pretty much judged for being imperfect or not being good enough. Okay, so the King of Cups is here. So this person, don't be fooled by the mask is what I'm hearing. Do not be fooled by somebody's mask, right? Um, because this person's really just lying to themselves because of their, I feel like this person, they wanna believe, they wanna trust, they're trying, like right now I feel like, or at least over this weekend, they're trying to get a different perspective of things. They're a bit confused about themselves. I feel like they're at war within themselves. As far as this mask, um, they're trying to balance things out and trying to come to an understanding over this weekend. Like, why can't they just be who they are? Why do they have to be inauthentic? There's a connection here to money or a lack thereof. This person, I feel like, has like a poverty mindset. Um, yeah, I feel like, um, they worry about money. They have financial, great financial loss, but they try to act like, or just pretend like they don't. They're very financially dependent. Perhaps on the family. Yeah, I feel like this person, I don't know, this, there's some problems here with whoever your person is or whoever this person is in connection to you. We do have Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Virgo. We have Leo. Um, yeah, I feel like this person struggles to be authentic. There, there's an attachment to money and a lack of money makes this person feel like they, they judge their value based on their financial wealth is what I feel like. So they kind of pretend that either they have money or they pretend that they're fine, but they're not. They're very, they're financially dependent, perhaps on like, um, it feels like family. <clears throat> very financially dependent on family, okay? Um, and so that's the mask. It's like, I don't know what I need to tell you here in regards to this. I feel like you, you might find out about this over the weekend or it just kind of clicks or comes to you. Okay, there's like this financial dependence on a father figure <clears throat> or um, someone in an authority position. Oh, there's also, um, this person doesn't have any money. <laughs> I'm hearing borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, <laughs> right? Um, this is delayed success. I'm getting the sense with the seven of pentacles here that this person is like constantly waiting on money. Like they have not, like, I don't, there's poverty. This person's broke and they pretend that they're not, or they act as if that they're not. Okay. Um, I don't know why you need to know that or why this is coming up like this, but I can tell you that. It feels more that it's tied to financial stuff. They may even be like, if you have a connection to them, they may borrow money from you over this weekend, or they may have borrowed or they're thinking of borrowing and there's no payback. They can't pay you back. They say they got the money. They say they lie about where the money is. It's en route, en route, en route, whatever. It's, they're gonna pay you back. There's no paying back here. 
they're borrowing it to pay back. This person's in like extreme financial um, trouble. Extreme financial trouble. Money is like the um, the priority for them. But they're saying, yeah, everything's okay. It's just a mask. Hmm, this might be a soulmate for you. They do love you. Somebody here, a soulmate for you, does love you. They respect you. But they... Yep, there you go. Financial challenges affecting this connection. So yeah, they do care about you, but they... Um, they might have, I don't know if they have like an addiction... Some kind of an addiction there's some red flags here that i feel like you need to pay out or pay out <laughs> pay attention to um this person seeking support financial support this feels like a money thing going on with this person um and you may have lent them money before in the past uh, they might be coming back around over this weekend Try to get a little loan of some sort. <laughs> Balance. One person giving too much in this relationship. You might have been enabling or enabling, maybe giving them money or paying for things for them. Um, and they've been a bit reckless. Just completely like out of, um, out of pocket here. You need to put some boundaries up with this person. Um, before they take everything that you have. I don't see this person. Yeah, they're 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 in some kind of denial uh, Well, they are like it's part it might be full denial or partial denial. I feel like this person just doesn't um, they, It's like they know but they're not willing To take steps at least over this weekend to even if it's brought up in conversation or something they're not willing ready motivated capable at this time to take steps to make those changes okay everybody knows right everybody knows <laughs> like you know you you know you can't eat chocolate cake for breakfast lunch and dinner you know what i'm saying like yeah, we all know right but damn that shit's good and i'm ready to give it up right i mean i just feel like and and you know what the 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 consequences when the consequences get to the point where you just can't you hit rock bottom that's when you start making changes this person i feel like they they know they're aware but until they're ready to deal with whatever issues they have whatever's going on with them they have to be the one to do that you can't do anything about that you can encourage you can give support but you can't enable certain behaviors Right, and which leads me to the Grim Reaper, where for some of you, a relationship is ending here because of this. No second chances. And you may be making a decision over this weekend to, you know, be done with something here. You know, let me tell you, when someone's determined to drive their car into a wall and you're in the passenger seat, you're going with them. Even if you're not driving, you're going with them. So this might be a, you know, save your life kind of a, a scenario. Grow and transform your life. Yeah, put an end to something here. Maybe you're already doing it. Or maybe for some of you, this all of this already happened. I get it. But, or some of you might be coming to terms with this over this weekend. Even with the death card, that Scorpio energy there. Big changes coming in here. Look, Grim Reaper. This is, there's two skulls here. I know that looks like, um, what was that? What was that cartoon's name? I can't remember. Not the Grim Reaper, but it was some cartoon. I can't remember the name you guys know. <laughs> Back in the 80s, but um, there's two skulls. This is a Grim Reaper right here. Something's done here. Time to move on. This is about moving on. I'm just moving forward. Yep. There's a tower. 
put something to an end here. This is put something to an end with the tower. You know, somebody is obviously dealing with some kind of struggle here. Okay, well, it's some type of an addiction that's having severe consequences on a relationship that you may be in or connected to you in, in any way, whether it's financial, whether you've, you're enabling, um, whether it's whatever it's affecting their mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical health. And until that person's ready to change there's nothing you really can do about it here. And it looks like before you go down with the ship here, Virgo, the tower is here. You're going to be, this person going to take you down with them. That's what I, that's what I fear if you stay. And, and so it's a tough situation, right? When I say take you down with them, like if this is a family member or a friend, they could take you down financially. They could take you down emotionally. Everything, all the consequences they're going to have to deal with, you're going to have to deal with. You have to find a way to detach. You can detach with love, but not enable and not engage with someone who's being or living a very reckless life. Because you will, like it, it seeps in like a virus. It's very cunning, baffling confusing it seeps in like a virus and it takes over your life when dealing with people like this it really just changes your brain waves right so this tower energy with death it's like you're gonna go down in disgrace with this person person your whole life will be in upheaval if you don't jump ship look at that You need to get real with yourself here, Virgo, and you're gonna, obviously. Some of you might, some of you might not, but this page of swords energy, you know, it's a card about curiosity, but also being truthful with yourself. And seeking truth. Maybe you see something over this weekend in regards to... Um, this behavior, you come to some kind of like realization. And some of you like, you know, when you're dealing with someone who's like reckless and they have some kind of addiction or something, you could feel like the third party in their relationship with their addiction. You know, if, if they have a third party, which if it's a, another person, right, there's always a, some kind of, interf there's an interference or an influence on your person's life that's affecting you as well, okay? And it makes you feel like you're on, I feel like the outskirts, like you can't be a part of it, you try to get in, but th like, they're so, uh, it, it, it feels like so dependent on somebody else or something else that they don't have the ability to give something to you here. And that's, I feel like, the truth that you need to seek to set yourself free. Or to at least come to terms with and accept. You know, detach with love. There. <laughs> pray for them. Wish them healing. Move on your way. You could just pray for them. If, you're, if you have a family member or a romantic partner or a friend, whoever's in your life that's significant, that's going through something, this really, this reading seems heavy. I'm sorry. It's just the way it came out. You know, I don't choose the cards. I mean, come on, Mass Grim Reaper. Come on. I guess once in a while we get them, right? So you can lovingly pray for this person and wish them well. But if you stay, you're going down with the ship. I can tell you that right now. Some of you have stayed for a really long time and you felt the effects. You just can't do it anymore. This weekend, it's like, wow, a bit of a wake-up call happening here. This is healing. This is recovery. This is retreat. Again, rest. You need to renew your, your soul and, and maybe make some kind of offer or tell this person. You could have communication and be truthful with them and say, uh, maybe you'll say, you know, you can't do this anymore. And, you know... 
offer your cup of love and affection that they need to get some kind of recovery or healing of some sort for something here but then you're detaching yeah because they're trapped this person's it's not your war it's you not your battle it's not your demon don't own it, it doesn't belong to you it's trying to capture you too but don't don't own it this person needs some mental health um therapy of some sort like they have some some pretty rough things going on mentally here you know they, they, they maybe they play the victim something you might come to terms with they, they sabotage they sabotage everything in the relationship this person's in prison and they they isolate themselves because they're they're whatever that's going on in their head is telling them that they're stuck you know they might not have any hope that they can get free but you know the best thing that you can do for someone you care about is to be honest with them with love and say to them this is what i i see and i love you very much and i hope that you can get some help and here's some here's some resources that i know of and I'll always be there for you you know in the sense like i always care about you but i can't be dragged down into this because it's not healthy for me like that's got to be your conversation with yourself maybe even if you're a female too or a guy having that talk with yourself as well you know because i feel like because of this person's um issue here they're unable to they're emotionally unavailable but even with the four of cups i feel like this person will they're gonna try like there is always there's maybe there's always a restart with them you guys would just keep restarting it never progresses but there's also possibility that they're you know they want to try to keep loving you. it's tough it's tough it's not about the love i don't feel like this person does not care about you i don't feel like they don't love you I don't think that's the question. I, I think that they can't be available to you because something else is holding them back. And that's, that's like the conversation to have with yourself over this weekend, right? So let me see this girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, being single, living in the moment, trying to have some fun. Yeah, moving on. Or taking that temporary hiatus away from this thing, away from this relationship. The best gift you can give somebody is your truth and to not enable their bad behaviors or I don't like to say bad, their their struggles, not enable their struggles. Tough love and, and walk on. Walk on by. Do, 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 do. Just keep it moving. Yeah, go after your ninth cup there. You gotta make yourself happy. You, you have to. Somebody here listening has been struggling with something. You know, for somebody, this could be a parent. You know, maybe they have an alcohol addiction. There's something going on. You can't, you can't save them. You can lead a horse to, wa horse to water, but you can't make them drink, right? Can't get blood from a stone. This person maybe stonewalls you. You know, closes up, doesn't open up. They try. But then they close back up again. I'm telling you, you're in a third party situation. You gotta go. You gotta go make yourself happy. Go, f go make your, go after your wishes and your dreams. You know what I mean? That nine of cups, having those wishes come true, material abundance and good health. That's what you need to be focusing on. So having those conversation with your friends or people close to you, um, a supportive group, right? Girl talk does uh, reminiscing of the three of cups friendship celebrations a circle of support these could be people that you work with but really put on put in the effort to um be consistent in your i want to say your your support consistent in a support group or consistent with a support group or you know go every day connect with these people every day these people whoever they are these girls these guys whoever they are they've been where you are are they they're they're struggling too but they're coming out of it right and they know they can show you the way is what i'm hearing to deal with something here okay they'll bring fun and excitement back into your life 
right? They care. They care about you. Some of them don't even know you. If you're going to some kind of support group or getting some help with something, they don't know you, but you're already a sister to them or a brother. It's about being active in your healing, active with your support groups, active with people who are going in the same direction as you, or they're on the same path with you. That's your soul tribe, right? You want to surround yourself with people. Listen, you're not obligated to surround yourself with anybody that's not going in the same direction as you are. You want to surround yourself with people who have already arrived at where you like to be. We're not obligated to surround ourselves with people who are going in the opposite direction because we all need to be inclusive and we all need to be. No, we don't. No, we don't. Are you going to hang around people who are very negative, constantly bringing you down or they're bringing themselves down or they're, they're not going anywhere in life when you're trying to go somewhere in life? That's how, how's that going to be helpful for you? And I'm going to say, listen, you can love people, but you don't have to be, you can choose where you want to be. It's not... So people say, oh, it's so, people associate being selfish with being mean. That's not what that means. Selfish is being about yourself because you want to live a happy life. You want to go somewhere where life is enjoyable. People around you are positive. In a, in a, like no one's 100% positive all the time, but you are good at supporting other people, Virgo. And there are people around in your life who want to support you as well. And for some of you, it's just about letting them. Find people over this weekend, your soul tribe, your girls, your guys, that are going to tell you the truth, right? And they're going to say, yeah, 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 that happened to me. Don't surround yourself with people who are going to gaslight you. People who are like, if you tell somebody that you're going through a difficult time and that person's like, oh, just get over it. No, that's not what you want. You need people to hear you. You need to be heard. And some of you, when I see support group, you know, some of you might be getting involved in the Anons type of thing. If you have someone who's got is an addiction and you're not an addict or you're not, you know, whatever. People who are involved with people who are struggling with some kind of an addiction, they suffer too. The, their family and the friends of the addicts. So you might need a little support yourself and, and uh, you know... <laughs> You might need to sit in that circle group and maybe you don't have to say anything. You just listen, see if you can identify whatever's going to work to help you. So, you know, I don't feel like this person wants to lose you. And I don't feel like it's because, oh, you, uh, you, you supply them with all their, to satisfy their addictions. I feel like this, your person, whoever they are, platonic, romantic, I feel like they, they do love you. They're just not capable of expressing and giving. Yeah. This person rejecting you has been divine protection. Some of you may have been rejected or may get rejected by this person. You may reject them. Like, this is all about divine protection. You're definitely, you have a guardian angel. I said that last week. You have somebody watching over you. Interference, right? An external party intruding on this relationship. So, external party, person, place, or thing. Uh, like I said, you know, this is your true love, right? Or this is a true love thing. This person does really love you. They just aren't, they just can't be available for you at this time. And you have forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. You know, with your understanding of your heart, you know. This, so, like, I'm not telling you what to do. If you want to forgive them, forgive them. If you're not ready to forgive somebody, then don't. You're not obligated. And nobody's going to hate you if you don't. You do things at your time. 
you're not ready to forgive yourself, that's fine. But at this time, you and this person are on different pages. You don't share the same vision. I don't think this person sees a vision. Their vision is how they can get their next fix. And there's, there's nothing I feel here in this reading. I mean, you could be the Queen of England, and you will still not be enough for this person if you can't provide that fix for them. Do you understand that? You could bend over backwards. Give, 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 give. And when someone is trapped, they have like blinders on and they can't, they can't see anything else but their need to get their fix just to, you know, feel okay about themselves or feel normal, whatever normal is, it's not even a thing. So, I mean, it's tough. This is a tough reading. What a way to start the weekend. But I will say, this realization or opening up, there's a setting you free energy. I feel like you get set free over this weekend. Seriously, not just like it's like, I feel like you, you let you exhale, you let everything go. And it's almost an energy of like, you know, it really isn't me. It's, it's really, it's not even this person because I'm sure whoever you're connected to here is a wonderful person or before their addiction got a hold of them or whatever this mask is that they're, they're wearing that they have to force wear. I'm sure that they're a wonderful person or at least at one point was, but when that devil energy, that's the addiction, when that devil energy takes over and this person has enablers around them as well, like it's a battle you cannot fight. Imagine someone saying to you, you know what? You don't have to fight this battle. You can be free now. You can get yourself free. It's not about you. You are, you are always good enough. You are always, always, always good enough. And I don't think it's that this person didn't see it. I, I think it's that they, they were so blinded or they're so blinded by whatever their issue is here, that's all they can see. For some of you, this person might have tried to take money from you. They had like a gambling addiction, gold digger. Listen, you need to move on for your own sanity. But listen, they will be back. And this is gonna be a test. That's why you need to get into your support circle or get with the people that are going in a positive direction. People that are people that care for you are not gonna they're not gonna badmouth this person in the sense of because if you love them but you can't help them, like that it's it's really sucks when another person comes and says, Oh, they're an a-hole and, 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 and but the thing is, what if it's your kid or your 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 you like your best friend? or someone that you've been with for like forever and you knew them before this took over. People who have addictions or struggles are not a-holes. They're not, they're suffering. And sometimes they do get better and you have to just keep praying and just praying for them, you know, but you can't fix them. You need patience. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. You need patience, patience and prayer. Yeah, and surrounding yourself with people who are focused on your healing, not on turning this person into a grim reaper, although you might feel like they are a grim reaper. You need people who are surrounding, surrounding you that are going to focus on your progress, your healing. All right, let's see if we can get some Chinese signs here and see what else. Okay, year of the goat. So this could be you, could be your person or none of you. Or only one year of the dragon, year of the tiger, year of the ox, year of the rooster. We have the rat, the monkey, and the pig. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's see what other messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay. So have working too hard or multiple jobs. <laughs> you have, there's a need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities or balancing the budget. So there's something here to do with money. Um, 
if this person's addiction or issue had to do with money or gambling or something, you might have been working really hard to pay the bills or keep money in your account. Um, you might you might have been, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a, whatever. It could have been just like maybe they stole money or they, they borrowed money from you and they didn't pay back or they, they took money or did something. Um, I feel like you need to bring things back into balance here some way. Um, you might might have been working too hard to take care of, like, enabling. It feels like maybe enabling financially, I'm hearing. And you need to bring balance and fun back into your life. Get that money back somehow or find a way to, um, I don't know, if you got to take them to court or sue them if they stole or they didn't pay back, like civil court or something. I feel like you, there's a need here, a strong need to get balanced financially and especially stop enabling and don't give money to anybody. Don't give money to anybody. Especially if you're a woman and giving money to a guy in a romantic partnership, no. But at all, especially if you know someone is just constantly taking money from you and they can't pay you back or it's a no-go. All right, right? So here you go. Nine of Pentacles. Then you'll be able to enjoy the fruits of your labors. Your hard work will lead to a luxurious life. You'll be able to buy yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying your solitude. Listen, I posted something the other day on my Facebook, and I said, the wrong person will bring your credit score down. The right person will raise your credit score. <laughs> so, you know, watch what happens when you let go of someone like that you know or just not engage in their addiction with them so you also have children or childhood revisiting old dreams or plans embracing your inner child the return of people or romances from your past romanticizing how things used to be so there's something here about if this is a romantic relationship ah you know when you when you have a romantic relationship with someone that's dealing with an addiction you're dealing with a Jekyll and Hyde you got one part of that person who when the addiction isn't controlling them or they get their fix they're the most wonderful people in the world fantastic to be around you think about how good things used to be but then when they're in that fix need they turn into a monster right so be careful of that right time goes by and they come in with that mask oh everything's good everything's great we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and you might get you know little you might chomp at the bit a little bit there. Just be careful because this person will return into your life. Right? It's like I said. It's not that they don't love you. I don't feel like that's an issue at all. Okay. Look at all this money showing up. Well, this is Ace of Pentacles. A windfall of abundance comes your way. Wise counsel or good fortune. You have an exciting career opportunity showing up, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home of vehicles can happen. So be careful because <laughs> if you're still engaged with this person and you get some, just watch out. Fresh Prince of Bel Air kind of mansion house or something. Oh, they're going to come back. Yeah, just be careful. It's insidious that somebody here is living with that mask on and oh, it's insidious. Never let anybody know your income. Don't let them know you get paid. Don't let other people know what you're doing with your money. It's like when you hear about people who like win these big lotteries, right? They're like millions and millions. And everybody comes out of the woodwork and they want this and they want that. People take advantage of them. As soon as people find out you have money, that's it. Just go around telling everybody you're broke. I don't have any money. <laughs> okay, and now the king of pentacles. I'm telling you, there's some connection to money here. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. The Midas touch, everything turns out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for. So you're going to be okay. But that's on the premise that you get out of enabling behavior and disengage from a relationship with here um, with someone who's... <clears throat> You know leeching or trying to take you for you know it feels like money money and assets finances everything will right when you let go of that person your credit score is going to go back up that's all i can say that's all i can say to you and say to you and there's awakening 
a temporary pause for reflection and insight an awakening where you see things in a whole new light embrace your own uniqueness charitable actions right yeah sometimes the best way to help someone come to the realization of their actions and their consequences is you gotta let them hit rock bottom and the way you do that is by not enabling and walking away you can't be the supplier if you want any chance of someone to get any healing you gotta you gotta use that tough love is what i'm here for them to have any kind of awakening so not everybody like there's an old saying they used to say um there's only two paths people in these situations can go if they don't have this awakening and they don't hit rock bottom and that is either jail or death and that's a real that's a reality for a lot of people who get caught up in their addictions and these heavy influences that devil energy it's, we saw the death card that's why that, that the devil is very cunning and I, I would really engage in if you really love this person and they're like really important to you, I would engage on a daily, like praying for them, right? And, and I'm not talking about like if this person's a narcissist, which like extreme ma malignant psychopath kind of stuff, a little bit different story. And I'm not really talking about that. I do think like addictions can make people very quote-unquote narcissistic it can make them very selfish because they are being very selfish they're trying to get their needs met first it doesn't necessarily make them a full-blown right um there's plenty of narcissists out there who are full-blown that they don't engage in addictions you know maybe smoking or something but it, you know not or overeating and stuff but not like not all narcissists are addicts, but almost all addicts have narcissistic traits, right? So that doesn't mean they can't have like a wake-up call, okay? Um, I feel like a preacher. Listen, Pastor Kelly here. If you want to come back um, next week, well, <laughs> next topic here, I'm not trying to make fun, believe me. Um, I just know about this stuff, y'all. And as soon as those cards started coming out, I was like... Here we go. Here we go. All right. And there. You're going to have to have no contact. You're going to have to engage in no contact. Um, now, that doesn't mean blocking. If you need to block somebody, that's your prerogative. Blocking um, phone number so they can't reach you. But it really depends on your particular situation. Okay? You're all unique. And every situation is unique. Um if this person is reaching out to you to try to get some cash or something for what they need or you feel like they might try to manipulate you to get something you might want to think about just not responding if you can but if you need and you can to block the person so that you can just re-strengthen your soul and your fortify yourself you know with some strength whatever you need then you might need to take those actions i'm i'm not I don't think no contact should be all across the board because it depends. It could be a, the co-parent. You need to be in contact with the kids if they have them, you know, or it could be like a, depends. But for some of you, no contact might be the way to go here, especially over this weekend. You might be thinking about it. All right, and then you have justice. The justice card, remember this thing that you're sweating over? Well. That's coming to an end. You're going to be in a good place because the verdict is delivered in favor of you. The truth will prevail. So that's karma. And never believe, karma never forgets an address. And it's not, karma's not used to, it shouldn't be used as vengeance, but it, it should be in the sense of like, you know, I don't feel like this person's intentionally trying to, their intentions are not to hurt you, but they they are because they're, they're trying to get their needs served in a selfish way and if there's anything they can get from you yeah but it does come back it does come back to people all right so let's move on from this so you know if you're going to end something with someone over this weekend you might i'm not telling you to but it feels like this message is more about i want to say like opening your eyes seeing getting some truth some clarity 
or maybe spend the weekend if you're not sure doing a little researching or reading and see if you can identify or seeking help from friends or supportive people I should say because not all friends are supportive but supportive people who, who might understand you know what you're going through if you already know that this is your situation then deal with it the way you need accordingly okay you have Aquarius you have Virgo showing up here September 11th could be somebody's birthday somebody's 55 41 August 31st, September 19th, 1989, August 23rd, September 5th, September 9th. Um, some, uh, somebody's 52, could be 52, 1972, September 13th, not sure if I said that already, August 26th, someone's 36, someone's 49, 1982, we have 64, 1973, okay, definitely um, August through March is going to be a very significant time period, or there's a birthday in August and a birthday in March, but I feel like this August, beginning in August, it's only a couple of weeks, um, through March of 2025, it's going to be a very significant time period, so you need to know that. Okay, let's see if we can get some. So initial C, we have A, I, S, we have a W, initial H, D, W, E, O. Okay, cash, cash. They're giving me the word cash. That could be somebody's last name or just talking about cash. Um, okay, we have Washington, Hawaii, Cassie, I'm hearing Diane or Diana, um, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, uh, somebody have a connection, this person, you might have known him since high school, it's a high school connection, Dick, Richard, Dickie, connection um china could be somebody's name china okay dix dixon dix mason dixon line someone's in the south uh all right they're just telling me chia chia like a chia pet i don't know what that means somebody's in the cia i worked in the cia <laughs> Part of the CIA. I knew someone that was in the CIA. Oh, we also have the letter R, R A, Ralph, Raymond, Charlie, Carrie, Corey. Someone's in the okay, the IRA. Um the IRA. Uh Sierra. Someone drives an Xterra. Just heard. Shira or Sheena, Shira, Shira, okay, Dash, um, Rain, I'm hearing Chow, I'm hearing Chris, Christine, Christopher, Chai, Chai T, Chai, South Carolina, crazy i'm getting so many messages right now um <coughs> excuse me rhode island again i feel like i get that a lot colorado mm -hmm. harry harold charo mm. shh just heard someone say shh don't say anything <laughs> Somebody's saying, shh, don't say anything. Wheat? Somebody's eating, or, or something to do with wheat. Wheat is significant. Um, okay, there's a high school, and the letter starts with R. R High School. Radcliffe, I'm hearing. Rocky. Hey, Rock Adrian. <laughs> 
sorry. <laughs> I have an X. All right, somebody, this is your X. Dirk, Dirks, I'm hearing. SHS, SH, isn't that like on the cross? XHS, isn't that like on the cross or something? Or something X, XHS, I don't know. Somebody might be Ashley, I just heard. Ashes, Ash Wednesday. Somebody might be, um, somebody getting, getting in with God. Director, someone's a director. Give a company or director or CEO, direct, but no, it's director. Kane. Okay, getting so many messages. Wow, this reading's going on. Asa, uh, HX. Someone's a history teacher. Mm. Oh, look, you have a clam shell with pearl in it and a hummingbird. I saw a hummingbird yesterday. Where I live, we have so many hummingbirds. It's insane. Oh, and you have a camera. Okay. I just want to see something. Give me a second here, you guys. Because I just want to look up this clam shell with the clam with pearl spiritual meaning. Hmm. Oh, we have AI now, right? Some say that finding a pearl in a clam is a rare occurrence that can have spiritual significance. It could mean that something good is coming soon and that you may be able to achieve new levels of accomplishment. Wow, that's a great message. And I'm going to do, so if you find, you might find a clam with a pearl in it or see one anywhere. You can see it on TikTok. You can see it in a store. You could just see a drawing of it. Um, you can see a real life one. It's just the, just if it comes to you, like yesterday, at the end of the reading, uh, I remember I said locomotive train. Well, two hours later, I s someone sent me a friend request, and their whole entire profile was locomotive trains. I was like, what? <laughs> so that's how it could come to you. Keep that in mind. Let's see what the hummingbird is. Um, yeah, it's good luck. Uh, it's a messenger, brings a, a messenger between the spirit and physical world. Um, it brings good fortune and prosperity. So you definitely have that coming. And it's also symbolizes resurrection and deceased loved ones returning to comfort the living. So like I said, remember you do have somebody watching out for you. Some say, if, if you see a hummingbird fluttering around you, you should think good thoughts and send intentions to your loved ones, right? So you don't have to like get down and religiously pray, but even like meditative actions or just sending good thoughts and intentions to someone. That's very healing for you, believe it or not. Um, it's very releasing. And... So the, this camera, it gives me this energy of, um, they're saying, don't let hate come into your heart in regards to this. Don't hate the person, hate the entity, hate the, hate the, uh, the devil energy that's this person is trapped in. Don't hate the person, hate the addiction. If it's an addiction, whatever it is. Your, your camera, they're saying, may have memories of this person before that, if you knew them before their addiction. Remember who they were that will help you to release in a way. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not the person. It's, it's the possession that you have to hate. It's, if you're going to hate, hate the devil <laughs> because he's a trickster. That devil energy. You know, some people are like, oh, the devil's real. The devil. I tend to think of the devil as just an energetic thing. It's an energy. I don't think there's some dude walking around with horns and, or he's like the, or they say the prettiest person in the whole world, but he's a trickster. I think the devil's just an energy. I believe that. And that devil energy has possessed your person like a freaking 
<laughs> I don't know, like a poltergeist or an exorcist or something movie, you know? Um, so your camera holds memories of the good times. If it hurts you to look at old pictures of your person before they got wrapped up in this, that's fine. You don't have to do it. Um, but I, I feel like the overall message here about the camera is, um, as far as memories, remember, not all people are bad entirely, you know? I don't know. That's what's coming up. This is a capture divine moments to be discerning, to seek truth, and to remember and share God's faithfulness. That's the camera message. All right, so, holy shit, I had no, you know what's crazy about the readings? You never know how they're gonna come out, I swear. Sometimes the messages just come and it's like, once, some days it's just, oh yeah, you're, you know, you're gonna get a really lousy cup of coffee tomorrow, or you're gonna find like a hundred bucks in an old coat pocket, or we're dealing with heavy duty issues. It really just depends. And I think that's what I love about tarot is because sometimes I'm channeling somebody, I feel, that needs to hear this. Because Lord knows I don't have this issue in my life at this time. <laughs> I'm sure could at any time, but not that I'm aware of. But maybe I'm just not aware of it. But I feel like whenever a message comes out like this, it's meant for somebody here. It's not meant to hurt or harm. The point of tarot is always for you to use it as guidance and find a way to improve your health and your spiritual sense, your spiritual health. And um, it's really easy to take the tarot cards and destroy other people with them. I, I see, like I posted and then I took it down. There was a, there's a woman on, and I'm just chatting, you guys can click off whenever you want. And there was a woman on YouTube who, she uses the political cards, or she uses tarot cards as a way to uh, force in a political agenda. So she calls out any kind of pol politician, leader, one in particular. And um, like, I don't care either way, but she, she, she abuses the cards. I've watched her a million times and I'm like, I cannot believe it. I found it to be such, it's so effed up. <laughs> I feel like she should be banned, but tarot, YouTube is creators, people, obviously, some things you can do, some things you can't. I always believe tarot should be used as guidance for improving, bringing awareness and improving your health and your spiritual health and, you know, all of those energies, not to use it for hate. But, you know, every once in a while something comes up and, you know, humans are human, so live and let live. So I'm going to go enjoy my weekend, y'all. This is a very long reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Or at least it wasn't a very enjoyable reading, but I hope that you got something out of it. You know, so have a great weekend, everyone. Um, I will be back here on the 22nd to um, yeah, so get, get you your week ahead reading. All right. So thanks, everyone, for joining the channel, for becoming a member of the channel. And just a big shout out to the moderators who are in this damn chat like almost they're here almost like i'd say like 98 percent of the time even if they get here late they always show up and you guys are just super amazing i'm so grateful and you know it's great because you're all so friendly you guys are always so nice to everybody that comes in the mods are awesome and um luckily we don't have many problems with, you know people showing up here as far as like being haters remember we did for a while there like people got super super crazy um for a while there oh i'm on my wrong thing i just want to give a shout out to if you have joined my channel i don't think anybody's joined recently but do think about becoming a member it's 2.99 per month um you can cancel at any time but you get a really cool badge you get access to neat little emojis and uh yeah you, if you rejoin you keep your status and like I said, you can cancel at any time, but do think about that. Lots of cute little perks. All right, I'm talking too much. Time to go. Have a great weekend. Love you, Virgos. I'll see you next week.